guys, it's Drek, and normally this would be a bonus video, but I wanted to bring it to you soon. So this is the new Nerf Instrike Thunder Blast. It hasn't been released in stores yet, but it's been released on Amazon.com, at least in the U.S., so I'll put a link to that in the description box below in case you want to pick one up of your very own. Now, what is the Thunder Blast? The Thunder Blast is essentially a missile launcher. It's firing Demolisher-style missiles, and it holds two in the stock compartment and then one in the chamber. So same sort of venting up here, restricting airflow that we had in the original Demolisher, claiming ranges of up to 60 feet, which I'm sure is possible if you can pump it hard enough. I don't know how good the stock seal is going to be on this, as it is an early release model, but... It is what it is. On the back here we have exactly what I just said. They do mention that there's a tactical rail up top blasting missiles through air and this is as simple a function as it possibly could be. Load, slide out, slide back to fire. Now it comes with two missiles and it's kind of interesting how the twine here is color coordinated. So this is blue for blue, orange for orange, and I assume an off gray for an off gray. So going to come in and release this. My Scyllus wasn't exactly designed for unboxings, but it was handy, so awesome. I guess we're going to need the missiles too, but let's take a look at the blaster. So tons of text on the back end. That's hideous. No wonder they're hiding that on the back side. And seems like not the best seal. Here, let's cover this. A little bit better so nothing to it but to do it we're gonna have to fire the blaster I like how the missiles come out this way but that's because I'm right-handed if you're left-handed this isn't gonna be nearly as ergonomically sound for you because you're probably doing this number and you have a higher chance of damaging your missiles so that's a little unfortunate that we're still not multi ergonomic with our nerf blasters but is what it is I like the color scheme here. I like that we're returning to like classic elite color schemes. And to be fair, this is not branded as an XD style blaster, but I really dig the blue with the white stripes. So getting these missiles in, very snug fit. Again, too snug. I just want to make this point like this isn't as comfortable for me. And I'm not left-handed, but I think that you have to be much more careful taking them out this way that's a little bit easier not a huge deal but a little bit and then that's kind of cool I didn't think that this would be the case but it's skeletal in all the right places so you can see the air tube coming up through here and this is a hard 90 degree into a 90 degree angle which isn't great but I I suppose it was the best way to to keep this compact now firing the blaster so the stock isn't comfortable at all it's very skeletal and very thin I actually kind of hate this I don't think that it was designed for this to be like on your shoulder like a bazooka but I guess that's what they're going for man that's even worse for me because I've got a whole chicken wing thing going on over here but we'll fire it how I'm going to fire it ranges of about 30 feet not spectacular of course, we're sitting, but we're where we'd be standing. We'll try it one more time. And that's that's a sharp fire. Like, I don't think that, that I could pull this back any harder to get a better shot. So, just as a comparison, once you modify this Thunder Blast, and if you need a mod guide for this blaster, feel free to look at my ACDC Demolisher mod guide. I'll put a link to that here so that you can check it out because I come in and I redo the seal on these and then I open up the airflow at multiple points so that it's much, much cleaner. And we should be able to get at least a slightly better shot with this. Not really. That's kind of disappointing. I wonder if I need to come in and re-grease this. Well, that kind of defeats the purpose of my demonstration, but I think the, the Nerf Thunder Blast is a strange purchase, and the only reason that I could justify buying one of these if it wasn't to share all of the news with you guys is special zombie classes in HVZ. If you need a dedicated person on your squad to handle the, the special zombies, then this would be, I guess, an acceptable way to go but it's not that much cheaper than a demolisher and a well-modified demolisher is giving you the exact same kind of platform here with 
with very, hmm, that's kind of interesting. If we line these internals up, you can see that this has more dead space in it. Wow! This is actually a worse platform, in my opinion, than the demolisher. So you would be paying less money for something that doesn't have a strife attached to it and does not, in fact, perform as well inherently. So that's kind of disappointing. I will not be making a modification guide for the Thunder Blast. I think that everything that I've mentioned in both of my demolisher modification videos will suit you just fine if you are in the market for a overhaul on your Thunder Blast. I might paint this at some point because it's kind of cool and I guess the only other benefit I could think of is that the demolisher stock holds one missile and this holds two so it's got a better storage system for missiles. Again if you're serving that special zombie attack role in your squad. Alternatively I could see a, wor uh, a realm or a possibility where you carve here and attach this to a demolisher to make something like this with an enclosed handguard on the back and now your stock is almost the same length as what I like here but it has the additional storage of two more missiles. I still prefer putting the four missile holder up front. Anyway, that's my review of the Thunder Blast. I hope it was informative and helpful to you. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you again on Monday.